It's called the large language model. And what you do is you take, um, you know, several billion, several billion different pieces of information and figure out how to predict the next word in a sentence. And that's trained, trained on existing, you know, the internet, things like that. So what makes it powerful is, it is, it is able to, if, if you were to search for what is the history of private property rights in the United States of America, it would produce a very thoughtful, coherent explanation of that issue. Right? So it's pretty amazing hmm. and it's gonna cut down on the ability to, to do things like research. And so it's gonna only make people more effective. Now, most people that have been focused on chat GPT, there's been two debates about it. Oh, you know, it's not woke enough or it's too woke. Or ban it. Those are both stupid ways to look at this technology. It is a tool that needs to be harnessed because it exists. Oh, and by the way, we're not the only ones trying to build it. The Chinese government is building it as well, too. And so, so why AI and artificial intelligence matters is because it's trained on, on data. And data is the coin of the realm. It's the new oil, right? And some would say it's actually the new uranium. <laughs> in that it's, it, it is so powerful to train these algorithms that produce some outcome. Now, AI is gonna do more than just predict the next word or you know, make you, you know, be able to, to produce a pithier tweet. It's gonna help you analyze weather patterns better. It's gonna help you be able to plant crops um, and, and grow, uh, uh, increase the production of your crops with less land, with less water, uh, with less resources. Um, it's gonna actually help us get to a point where you can have um, uh, reduced traffic. It's gonna allow us to, uh, why have we not made so many advancements in, in, in medicine or as fast? We don't even understand how different, pro the, the chemical structure of proteins. Right, many of y'all remember in chemistry, organic chemistry, right? So, so AI is gonna help us better understand and get to medicines faster so people are gonna be able to live longer, right? So, so it is, um, it's the equivalence. The power of AI is the equivalent of nuclear weapons or nuclear powers is more appropriate. And just like nuclear power, nuclear power controlled gives us nuclear energy, a clean energy that could power cities. Nuclear energy uncontrolled gives us nuclear weapons.